How will losing mobility of one hand affect my career as a programmer? The effects of a genetic disorder started affecting one of my hands. Now it's barely visible and only causes mild discomfort and a slight loss of agility, but upon reaching its final stage my hand will look visibly deformed and I won't be able to move my fingers. This will happen at worst case in around 2 to 3 years, and if I'm very lucky, it might take 10 or even 20 years. There were confirmed cases with other patients where it lasted that long, but that's very rare. There is no known treatment besides a surgery which will at most have cosmetic effects, but won't restore much, if any, mobility. How will this affect my career as a programmer? I started working approximately 8 years ago in the field, and I know that typing speed is, by far, not the most important thing which makes someone a good programmer. However we often do need to type a lot of code, and losing one hand will drastically limit my typing speed and cause my remaining hand to tire faster. I'm right-handed, and fortunately my left hand is the one which is affected still, as I use IDES with mouse and keyboard, I rely a lot on my left hand, one solution would be to move upwards to management, but as I like coding, I don't like the idea of a purely managerial role where I do no coding currently I'm in a senior role where I can delegate tasks to other people, but most of my work does consist of coding, and I like IT I like both my current job and my current company however, I'll have to adjust for my reduction in typing speed as my condition worsens. My wrist will remain usable, so pressing large keys at the left side of the keyboard, control, shift, etc. with my left hand will probably remain possible. Another problem is if something happens with my current company and I have to find another job. Now, for half a year or maybe a year, I will probably still be able to hide my condition, not that I would find such a thing ethical, but advertising it in the interview is also not a thing which I know whether it's a good idea. But after that, why would someone hire me if they can find someone of similar skill and experience who has two healthy hands? I'm in my early 30s and could still learn a new profession, if that would be really necessary, but I would prefer not to. Are there any among you who are professional programmers and have only one useful hand? Is it possible to adjust and be an effective programmer with only one hand? I'm a long-time member of this community, but for this question I'll keep up anonymity for the time being. Edit, thank you for all the answers, suggestions and encouragement. I even feel a little bit ashamed for asking, as I realize that there are many people with conditions much worse than mine, having a functioning wrist, a lot can be done with the thumb and index fingers even if they have very limited mobility, and they still manage it very well. It need not have a significant impact. Many programmers work with medical issues ranging from quadriplegia, to blindness, to carpal tunnel syndrome. Some programmers have long and productive careers without ever learning to touch type. I personally have found that being able to touch type reasonably quickly does help my productivity, but after working for 35 years as a developer I've found that I spend way more time reading and thinking than I do typing. I'd suggest getting in touch with an occupational therapist and start getting up to speed on assistive technologies that will help you maintain your productivity. I'm a web developer, and I lack the use of both hands and wrists due to quadriplegia. You need not fear that losing the use of a hand excludes you from the programming field. As you say, there is much more to programming than typing speed. I type at a sad maximum of 20 WPM, yet I still am considered a competent developer. However, there are difficulties that lead to topics you may need to think about sooner or later. Disclaimer: My level of ability is very different from your prognosis, so I may see things very differently than you will actually experience them. I am drawing from my own challenges while writing this. I am also from the US, assistive technology and accommodations. I have actually found programming to be a particularly forgiving occupation for mobility issues computers and workstations can be modified in numerous ways, and details like autocomplete and keybindings can be a big help you may find equipment that suits your needs, such as an adaptive keyboard or even something as simple as a hand brace I'd advise you to consider these assistive tools, but don't feel required to use them no solution works for everyone, and things that others, occupational therapists, concerned friends, believe will help might not always be useful. For instance, I forego voice to text for programming because I find it clunky for that purpose and speaking disrupts my thought process. Your employer or government agencies will usually be willing to help you acquire assistive technology that you need to work. Applying for new jobs, in the event that you do find yourself being passed over on account of your condition, what I have found to be the greatest help in overcoming employers' perceptions that a lack of mobility will significantly affect your work is having people who know that is not the case and who are willing to recommend you. My brother, who also works in programming, has been absolutely amazing in helping me out in that way. Additionally, many programming jobs are remote these days, leading to interviews that are also remote. In such a situation, you could wait to disclose your condition. You are likely not even required to mention it at all, though you may want to in order to request accommodations or avoid questions later. I work remotely, and most of the people on my team do not even know about my condition. I allow it to stay that way because I find it refreshing to know nobody is judging my work by different standards. Wishing you all the best. I used to work with a developer who was missing most of his right hand. He had some of his index finger, and a thumb, both very small and weak compared to his good hand, and no other fingers on that hand. This had no obvious effect on his programming ability, and he was regarded as quite talented. 
He did not try to type with that hand at all. He could move a mouse with it, simply by resting his hand on top and moving his arm muscles, and had a special mouse that he could click in some way that I never quite understood. He did play minor practical jokes, like shaking hands with the mutilated hand with people who hadn't spotted it, but everyone reckoned that getting some fun out of it was reasonable, given the limitations it imposed on him. Dot. So I don't think this problem needs to limit your career at all. You'll have to work out some adaptations to it, but problem solving is what programmers do. I'm a software engineer too. I broke my right humerus a couple of years ago and the inflammation ended up pinching off nerves and leaving my whole right arm a useless floppy noodle for months. I ended up using a software version of the half QWERTY keyboard. I broke my right arm, so I would put my left hand in the usual spot on the left side of the keyboard. Then to type a letter on the right side of the keyboard, you hold the spacebar and press the corresponding key mirrored across to the left side. For example, to type P I would hold space and type Q. Within a month or so I was pretty comfortable typing with one hand. Coding was not an issue at all, the real difficulty was writing long-form stuff like documentation. But you've got an advantage in that the onset will be slower and you can gradually develop your one-handed typing skills with a real solution like the frog pad or another corded keyboard. People can get crazy fast with those, so I wouldn't worry if I were you. Don't panic, you know yourself how fast the computer world has progressed. If you do end up find typing too challenging, and others have pointed out keyboards etc, the advances in speech-to-text recognition will probably provide a possible solution. In fact that type of motivation has been the spark for someone to create the next generation of many things. Best wishes. As others have commented, typing speed isn't really that useful for a developer. That said, it can be useful to keep your eyes on the screen while typing, so you might be interested in using a keyboard that allows you to touch type with one hand, such as a corded keyboard or a single hand keyboard. I'm one of those. I was born with one hand. My right hand is kinda like a stub, and I use it for typing. It's like I'm typing with 6 fingers instead of 10, but still pretty fast. It has zero effect on my programming abilities whatsoever. I don't use any assistive devices at all. I use a QWERTY keyboard and an ambidextrous mouse. I don't use assistive devices mostly because that restricts my ability to use new gadgets or go type on a colleague's computer when doing some pair programming. If you can use a finger on your other hand to type using some arm and wrist muscles, you probably don't need anything extra. Just some getting used to. If you're gonna write with one hand only, take a look at some Dvorak keyboard layouts, they have one-handed versions as well. I tried it, but I like QWERTY better. I bet this will have zero effect on your ability as a programmer. <laughs>